Hey guys, how we doing? My name is Noah Densmore and today we're going to talk about how to unlock your DJI Mavic 2 Pro in controlled airspace. Let's get into it. Real quick, just want to make a disclaimer guys. This is not legal advice. I'm just showing you what works for me and how I previously unlocked this airspace before. Make sure to follow all local laws and regulations, especially when it comes to this uh, stuff dealing with airspace because it is very serious. Okay, that's it for my disclaimer. Now let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is find your spot for where you want to fly and determine whether it is in controlled airspace or not. This spot I already know it is um, and I'm going to pull it up on Google Maps first, but it's a spot right here uh, just outside of Tampa International Airport. Um, so I'll be flying right around this kind of area and i really just want to get this bridge right here um, but it is pretty close to there it is tampa international airport so we're definitely going to need to request an unlock for that airspace there's a few different websites you can use to request link approval uh, the one i'm going to use today is called airspace link so we'll type that in in Google. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do if you haven't been on this site before is you're gonna to need to sign up and make an account. I already have an account, so I'll just go to sign in and then AirHub launch for pilots. So I'm just gonna scroll over to Tampa, zoom in. And you can see some of the airspace popping up here already. Now I need to get a link approval for, yep, this is the spot right here. I'm just gonna double check back into Google to make sure it's that exact spot right there, uh, which it is. And I'm actually gonna have to take off somewhere around this general area because I don't think I'll have enough room you know, on the bridge. Um, so I'll just kind of measure that and say, We'll put a broad circle around this kind of area over there. And just looking around me here in the boxes, I do see that it's 100 feet, 100 feet, 100 feet in all four of these boxes. So the altitude doesn't really change from those boxes. So the highest I can fly is 100 feet there, which is fine. So once I know where I'm going to take off from, I'm going to click new operation. And then I'll name it. Columbus Bridge, because that's the name of the road. And I am a part 107 pilot, so I'll click that. Start time, we'll do tomorrow at noon. Duration, I'll choose five hours. That's my name, that's my drone, that's my phone number, email. So I'll click this circle and then come over here and kind of draw exactly where I'm gonna fly around. And that's about the radius I'll make it right there. So once I have all my parameters there, I'll click save operation Okay, and we have the request we made right here. We'll just click submit. Now, once it's approved, I like to click over here, view FA approval. And then just for my records, I like to screenshot this right here. And this will come into play a little bit later on. Now that I have that, we'll click done. Now we're going to do a custom unlock through the DJI portal. So, Type in DJI Fly Safe or click the URL below here. So if you don't have an account already, make sure and make one for the DJI website and then log into that. And then we're going to go new unlock request. Confirm. This will be a custom unlock.
Now my information is already saved into here, but you would just click on your device. So whatever type of drone you have, and then you type in the flight controller serial number for your aircraft. Who's the pilot? This is me. And then I'm gonna type in Tampa, Florida. So I see my spot right here on the bridge on the edge of this airspace. I'm gonna click the circle. And this is the radius that I need right there. It's probably a little bit more accurate right there. And then that's all I need. So I'll scroll down a little bit more. I'm gonna name it. Bridge spot. Yes, yes, okay. So our start date tomorrow, end date Friday, altitude, we'll change it to feet, we'll go 100. So unlocking application reason, I actually have a template that I just copy and paste to put here that says, basically I'm a 107 pilot and I'm gonna fly in accordance with the laws here and make sure to keep it a safe flight so I will go to my copy and paste. And then it wants you to upload the required documents. That document is going to be what we screenshotted from the link approval that says we have permission to do what we're requesting to do. So upload. And then I'll find that screenshot, which is on my desktop. There it is. Okay, now we're gonna submit. So this should get unlocked fairly quick and I'll get a confirmation through my email. Inside that email is gonna give me the information I need um, to basically import it to my aircraft and allow me to use the DJI Go4 app to take off from inside that airspace. So we'll pick up the rest of this video when I'm on site ready to fly tomorrow. All right guys, so we're at our spot in Tampa, right next to the bridge. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's just there in the distance. And my application was accepted overnight last night. It took about 15 minutes. And now that I've received that, I'm gonna jump into the DJI Go4 app. You can tell that this is a no-fly zone because it says cannot take off when you open the app and you try and start it up. So what I'm gonna do to unlock it is just go to the top right where the three dot menu is at, scroll down, unlocking license, and then import to aircraft right there. Okay, and then go to aircraft, bridge spot, I'm gonna select it and then check these boxes right here, sync. And then once the sync is successful, it says up here in my top left, it's, it's a yellow um, rectangle. It says special unlock GPS altitude limit 98 feet. So that's our clearance limit up to about 100 feet. And I can check on the map here at the bottom left and see that this lightly shaded green circle is the same exact dimensions of what we approved to get unlocked in the DJI FlySafe uh, portal last night. All right, so let's take off. Take off. Has been Please check it on the map. And we can go all the way up to 98 feet. And just to show you, it will give us like a, a geofence lock once we get there. So yeah, see, I'm, I'm going, trying to go up. I can't go any higher than that 98 feet right there. That's pretty much it, guys. That's how you unlock airspace for your DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about this topic in specific, and let me know what you want to see in the coming videos. Thank you, guys. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. See you in the next one.